Hi everyone, in this short video I will talk about DreamFactory's new data mesh feature that is available in DreamFactory 2.0. So DreamFactory has always had the ability to make a single API call and fetch data that's related by foreign key. So for example, get the child records of some parent object, like the contacts that belong to a particular account, things like this. Now there are many cases where you do not have a relationship but you want a relationship and with data mesh you can impose what we call a virtual foreign key relationship between different tables and what's really powerful about this is that you can do that without touching your database for one so make relationships between data uh, that doesn't necessarily have a foreign key relationship what's even more powerful is fetching data that lives in multiple different databases completely and so this lets you go out and identify uh, pieces of information that are related in some way, perhaps by a unique identifier like an email address, a social security number, uh, a license, something like this that identifies related entities uh, that do not necessarily have a foreign key relationship. So that is the key feature uh, that we'll cover today. And I'm going to show with a very simple example to show how this works in practice. So I'm going to talk about data, schema, and then I'll make some API calls to show how it works. So let's get started. So a simple example is I have a MySQL database here. And I have two tables. I have a contact and a customer. So I can look at this very simple data set, a name, an email, a phone number. And let's say our customer table, it's in the same database. And just for the simple example, just as a user I'm in a, in a display name, but it, have, it could have anything. It could have a bunch of uh, e-commerce transactions uh, with multiple um, uh, records with the same uh, username, that kind of thing. And let's say that we want to generate a report or a query uh, that combines information from both of these tables. Now the issue is in, this ta in these tables we don't have any foreign key relationships. So what we need to do is impose those relationships and we can do that in the schema tab. So what we do is we'll have a look at our MySQL database and let's look at the, first let's look at the contact object. So you'll see an email ID, name and phone like we saw before. And what we want to do is create this relationship and I'll show you how that works. Uh, the first one we'll talk about is just in this database. So we you have this customer by username, has many, and then if we look at the customer entity, we'll see the username belongs to the contact. Now, this is not the way it is in the database. We impose this by going down to the field that we wanted to relate, which in this case is username, and what we did is we checked the foreign key and the virtual foreign key checkboxes, and then we made an explicit relationship. So we picked the contact object and we want to reference the email field. So we want to basically connect this uh, username field, which is a string, to the email field. And that's all we have to do. So then we can save that. And what that does is it creates that uh, relationship that I just showed in the schema. That's all there is to it. So to see how this works in terms of the API calls, once you establish that relationship, you can hop into your API and go down to the get call to see this. And all you need to do is put in the related uh, field. So here it's going to be customer by username is the relationship, basically the virtual foreign key relationship. And let's say that we want to look at the contacts. So we want to go and single query, try that out. So you'll see the API call is here. It's the API name MySQL underscore table contact was our object and then we appended that related parameter equal customer by username and then we just fetched the contact record and the related customer record here so this could have many different customer relationships here like multiple records in this example we just show one and that's how it works so it's very much like a foreign key relationship except it's virtualized and you did not have to change your schema at all in the database so that's pretty powerful now the other thing that you can do and I'll just repeat this example with a different database. So let's say that we have our, we still have our contact object here and we can look at that. Here's the data. But now let's say we have a different database that's completely isolated. These databases don't know anything about each other. And instead our customer table is in that other database and we'll see it there. Same records, but in a different database. So what you can do there is then hop into your schema and go to the, in this case we'll go to the local SQL database and we'll pick our customer object there and we'll scroll down to the username and it's just like the example before except remember we're in a different database so I'm going to check foreign key, virtual foreign key and then check this last thing, foreign reference service 
And then we're going to reference a different service, basically a different API, which again is the MySQL database. Remember, we're in a local SQL database that's different. So we're going to pick that, and then we're going to pick the contact as the reference table, and then we'll pick email. And once we've done that, we can then go fetch data that are completely different in databases, two different databases with one API call. So to do that, we'll go back over to our API docs. We'll go back to that MySQL API. So remember, we're going to fetch some contacts and we want to see the related customer data in a different table in a different database. So we'll go here and do a get. And the only difference here is you're going to prefix with the API name of the different database. So remember, our contact object is in an API called MySQL. The customer object is in a different database called DB. So we're going to prefix and say DB, and then we're going to do customer uh, by username. Put that in there. And then again, we're going to fetch our contact. So we'll put that in again, similar to the last example, except the only difference is really the prefix. And then you'll see that the API call, single API call, again, going to the MySQL database, it's a service name, contact object, and then related equals DB, remember is a totally different database, dot customer by username. And then what we've done, if you look in the JSON returned, scroll down here, you've got Joe coming from database one and Joe's related records in a customer database that's completely different table in a completely different database with one API call. So the advantage of all this is obviously it really saves a lot of time. You don't have to write server-side scripting to relate different entities. You can do one API call. You also don't have to go and ask your DBA to go change a bunch of relationships, which is very hard to do, especially when you're in production environment. So this is a huge time saver. Hopefully this uh, demonstration here made it easy to understand. Um, and there's a great blog post that you can check out at blog.dreamfactory.com. And this kind of goes through uh, more details. If you look at this blog post, working with virtual uh, virtual relationships between database tables. So you can read this and go through the details. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, and thanks for watching.